are you planning on travelling to some exotic destination in the next few months? Well, if so, please consider making an appointment to discuss all your travel health needs. Taking the right steps now will ensure that you can protect yourself and so return safe and sound, having enjoyed a good holiday. It is best to start by gathering as much reliable information as you can from reliable sources. There are many excellent travel related websites including Fit for Travel from the NHS in UK, the CD site from Atlanta in Georgia and finally the Travel Medicine Bureau site from Ireland. You can also learn about the dangers of malaria from the Malarial Hotspots website in the UK. You should also seek advice from others and if you are travelling abroad on an elective or university arranged work attachment, you should contact a host institution and ask their advice. And if you are travelling with a voluntary organisation, they should be able to provide you with details of what vaccinations and treatment you may require. Finally, you should consider making a travel consultation appointment here in the Student Health Department, where the doctors have built up a considerable amount of expertise in travel medicine, and the fees charged are likely to be less than in commercial travel clinics. Once you've decided to travel, you should book an appointment at the Student Health Department. Remember to tell the receptionist that this is a travel consultation, as first appointments required for travel advice need to be up to 30 minutes in length. It's best to book this appointment well in advance of your departure date, as some vaccine courses may take up to two months to complete. We can, however, see you right up to the day before you travel, and although this is not ideal, last minute attenders can still be offered some vaccines and medications and advice which may help protect them. You should consider the advice contained in the travel websites consulted earlier and be aware of the vaccines recommended by the countries you plan to visit, as well as taking note of the advice about preventing malaria and other diseases. Finally, you may wish to download and begin filling in the travel consultation form available from the Student Health website, or indeed you can call to reception and collect one in person. The travel consultation form allows the doctor to record details of your trip including the countries you intend to visit, for how long, the date of your departure and the nature of the trip that you are undertaking. Your medical details will also be recorded noting any significant previous medical illnesses that you have had and any allergies, medications or courses of previous vaccinations that you have completed. At your initial travel consultation, the doctor will review your travel form and using the most up-to-date online guidance will review the recommendations fee for you and for your trip. You, you will be advised as to what vac vaccination should be considered mandatory, st required or strongly recommended. You will also be advised as to the precautions needed to reduce your risk of contracting malaria including tablets if appropriate, and any issues surrounding certification of yellow fever and other immunizations will be discussed. As only 6% of all injuries or illnesses that befall travellers on holidays can be prevented by vaccinations or medication, the doctor will also advise you on other ways to stay safe and healthy abroad. Finally, he or she will help you plan your immunization schedule, the details of when you need to attend for your vaccinations. You may well indeed receive your first vaccinations at this initial The doctor will work out when and how you need to attend for your vaccinations. The number of attendances needed will depend on the countries you intend to visit and can range from no further attendances needed up to usually a maximum of four attendances spread over four to eight weeks. The fees charged for the vaccinations will be confirmed. You should note that there is a 20 euro fee payable to book the initial travel consultation. Payment for each of these vaccinations must be paid as you go. The doctor will also discuss any adverse effects that are expected from each of the immunizations and you will be given your own personal record of the immunizations you have received. You should keep this in a safe place as it is a very valuable record. And remember, any travellers who require certification of yellow fever vaccination or meningococcal vaccination for Hajj are reminded that entry into a country may be refused if you have failed to produce the required certificates. Remember there are numerous other things that could befall you on your trip 
but by following a number of sensible precautions, you can stay safe and enjoy yourself. Pay particular care to food and water, eating only hot food that is well cooked or, ha or has been prepared by yourself. Be careful in cities and on highways, because road traffic accidents are the commonest cause of death in travellers. You should also take care to reduce your chances of being bitten by insects. And remember the dangers involved in swimming can vary from mild to bilharzia to even death from drowning. You should protect yourself in the sun by wearing a sun hat and adequate clothing and a high protection sun factor, factor sunscreen and never ever take risks with unprotected sex whilst all overseas. Make sure that you have adequate health and travel insurance and you should consider bringing a basic medical kit with you. Finally, if you are unfortunate enough to become ill overseas, make sure you see a healthcare professional whilst there, or at the very least, see your doctor on a tour. If you follow all these tips, make an appointment now and receive the appropriate vaccinations. There's no doubt that you can enjoy your holidays and return safely.